everyone. Welcome to the land of dinosaurs and fossils. So, what do you all understand by the word fossils? Big giant dinosaurs like this one, right? Jurassic Park, correct? No, fossils are not all about dinosaurs and Jurassic Park. They can be of fishes, amphibians, reptiles, mammals and many, many, many more. And dinosaurs did not live in a park called Jurassic Park. So today we are going to get into a time machine and explore the mysterious, enigmatic world of fossils, paleontology and as well as your favorite dinosaurs. First, let us come to a question. What are fossils? Well, fossils are remains or traces of plants and animals that lived a long, long time ago. Fossils help scientists understand what life was like millions of years ago. Some fossils provide evidence of living things that have gone extinct which means that they are no longer found alive anywhere on the surface of the earth today. So, what is paleontology? Paleontology is the study of ancient life, from dinosaurs to prehistoric plants, fishes, insects, mammals, fungi, even microbes, bacteria and viruses. Yes, you heard me correct, viruses. We are all aware of the recent pandemic in which your schools are closed caused by the coronavirus. That is a virus we encounter in the recent times. And yes, we do have viruses millions of years ago and we do find fossils of them. Interesting, right? Well, fossil evidence reveals how organisms changed over time and what our planet, our very own Mother Earth was like during those millions of years ago when that giant di dinosaurs, fishes, extinct amphibians reigned the surface of the Earth. And scientists like me who study fossils and work in paleontology are called paleontologists. So today, we will learn and see what are fossils, what paleontologists do, and learn how this earth formed. I am Shongjukta Chakraborty from the Indian Statistical Institute. I am a geologist and a paleontologist and a paleobiologist. So what is geology, kids? Geology is the science behind the formation of the earth and the processes, the structures that work upon the surface of the earth, the formation of the earth. So today we will also learn a little bit on geology as well. Today I shall be your friend and accompany you all to that imaginary time machine for a time travel along deep time into the fascinating world of dinosaurs and fossils. As you can all see, the fossil behind me is that of a huge dinosaur called Baraposaurus tagori. This was excavated from Telangana in the southern part of India. And this dinosaur is housed at the Geology Museum of the Indian Statistical Institute. After this pandemic is over, which I guess will be soon enough, you can all come for a visit to it and wish him a hi or a hello. Today, in this session, we will learn about what are fossils, how fossils are formed, how old was different fossils, how life came into earth and evolved, how continents formed, how old was our mother earth, and what is the geologic time scale. Well, well, as I was saying in the beginning, you must have all seen the movie The Jurassic Park once, twice, and those who have really loved it several times. 
So did giant dinosaurs live in a park called the Jurassic Park? They roamed there, ran there? No. The word Jurassic does not mean a park. It means a span of time period that extends 201.3 million years ago to 145 million years ago from recent times to back in time that is deep time. And any guess what is the age of our mother earth? It is 4.6 billion years ago. That is 46000000000. Too many zeros, right? Eight zeros after 46. Really old. Really. So we must take care of it also. Right? With this, we will enter into the geologic time scale. Just like the Jurassic time period, there were several time periods before and after it, which harbors fossils. And these are much before you, your parents, your great-grandparents and your great-great-great-great-grandparents even came into the surface of the earth. So welcome to the geologic time scale. Our Earth is estimated to be about 4.54 billion years old. Very, very old. Just like we take care of the elderly, we must take care of our Earth too. And because it's so many years old, scientists measure it on the geological time scale. The geological time scale is divided up into geological time periods. Geological time periods are just like the stages of a person's life. People are babies for the first few years after they are born, then kids, then teenagers, then adults, and then old people like your grandparents. The earth also has time divisions like this. Each one lasts for a few millions of years. When you measure how long you live, you could measure it in years, months, days or hours. If you are 8 years old, you could say that you are 96 months old or 70,080 hours old. The geological time scale in the same way has bigger and smaller ways to divide up time. The 4.54 billion years old time period of the earth is divided into eons which is the biggest subdivision and of course the longest lasting and the most inclusive of these divisions. Then comes the eras, the second largest categories which are shorter in time spans than the eons. Subsequent to these comes the periods, these are further shorter in time length and are further divided into epochs and ages. Our earth is changing in characteristics always, ever since the time it was born. These divisions of time periods are based on the difference in characteristic features of the earth in each of these time divisions. For example, changes in geology, climate, the absence and presence of life on the surface of the earth and by the different kind of living things that were present in each of these time divisions. So you must be thinking, at what time did life originate on the surface of the earth and how did it evolve? Life came to earth long long time after the earth was formed as a ball of fire. Let us imagine that we fit the entire 4.54 billion years of the earth's history into one calendar year time. That is, let us try to see the 4.54 billion years of Earth's growth in just 12 months span of time. Just like you celebrate your birthday and you grow every year, let us imagine that the Earth was born on 1st January. That is, 1st January is equal to 4.54 billion years. The Earth then was a sea of molten rocks. But during the month of January, the earth started to cool down. And it's not until February 25th, that is 3.8 billion years ago, that any form of life appeared on the hostile hot earth. Simple form of life. 
started appearing 3.8 billion years ago on 25th of February in the hot springs and water bodies. At this point, the simple life was simple cell only. These are called the stromatolites. Nonetheless, February 25th can be called the birthday of life. It was not until 21st of March that another significant leap in the evolutionary history of life began. Photosynthesis Photosynthesis was a revolutionary step in the next evolutionary significance of life. The earth before this lacked free oxygen. Can you survive without oxygen? Well, very very ancient simple microbial life. The stromatolites before this time sustained in the hot springs and water bodies without oxygen. But 3.6 billion years ago on 21st of March, these simple celled organisms came near sunlight and converted sunlight into energy and free oxygen by photosynthesis. Thus, free oxygen came into the atmosphere and that changed all the mode of life. Now, you have to be patient till November. Only slow changes in the evolutionary pattern of life were constantly happening on the face of the earth. But then, again, there was a huge mayhem of activity of life in November. Fungi appeared in the soil on 15th of November, which is equivalent to 520 million years ago. Just after this, fishes. Every one of you eat fishes? Anyway, you must have seen it. In aquarium, beautiful fishes swimming around. These vertebrate fishes were swimming the ancient seas on 20th November, which is 468 million years ago. Hold your breath. Nowadays, you see many plants on land, right? Many of you have plants in your garden. But plants first emerged on the surface of the earth and especially on land on 22nd November, that is 435 million years ago. How many of you are afraid of spiders? Well, I am very afraid of them. But I love to eat lobsters that my mother cooks for me. Do you know that spiders and lobsters and horseshoe crabs all belong to the family called the arthropods? Ancient arthropods are now extinct, but they first appeared on the seas on 24th November, which is about 410 million years ago. And do you know what are the amphibians? Amphibians are the animals which can live both in the land and water. That is, to live in the water, they don't need to learn swimming like us. In the recent days, frogs, salamanders and the newts are the amphibians. Well, long long time ago, ancient amphibians which are now extinct and we have only fossils of them emerged 320 million years ago which is equal to 2nd of December. Well, are you thinking that 11 months have passed and where are the dinosaurs and where are the human beings? You still have to wait for some time for the dinosaurs to come. And the human beings appeared much, much later when the year was nearly coming to an end. Let's see. Approximately on 8th of December, that is 231 million years ago, the first dinosaurs appeared, which is a tiny Eoraptor. Slowly, as time progressed, dinosaurs became gigantic creatures and ruled the earth. Still later, say on 18th of December, that is roughly 115 million years ago, birds came to the scenery of the earth. And then, when the year was nearly coming to an end, on 31st of December, at 11.30 am in the morning, that is 2 million years ago only, the first hominids, our ancient, ancient relatives, walked on two limbs. It was nearly the ending of the year at 11.24 p.m. nearing midnight 
that is 300,000 years ago, that our ancient relatives, the Homo sapiens, appeared. So you see, the human beings and us are very, very young on the earth when compared to the existence of life on this planet. Though we now dominate the planet with our intelligence, we must not be complacent and respect and conserve all the other forms of life and try to maintain a balanced ecosystem. These dates that I said you are all nearly approximations and they change as more researchers are constantly in progress. But I guess now that you have understood the geological time scale. And have you ever heard of the famous industrial revolution? Can you guess, compared to this calendar of the history of the earth, how long a time ago it was? Well, the industrial revolution happened only two seconds ago. Hello everyone, the time machine has already landed and it's time that we get back to reality. I hope you have all enjoyed the session. If you would want to hear about any extinct animal in particular, any geological age or any topics on geology or paleobiology, you could email me in indianfossils at the rate gmail.com with your name and class and school or in the email ID chirpimoni2009 at the rate gmail.com. You could also visit my YouTube channel Paleoscience underscore Shongjukta for very many interesting videos. Bye bye.